Okay, welcome everybody. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Talia Bell, and I am pleased to be greeting you from Mokinstis, the traditional name of Calgary, where we reside on Treaty 7 lands. In the spirit of reconciliation, I would like to acknowledge the traditional territories and oral practices of the Blackfoot Confederacy, which includes the Siksiga, Bigani, Ghana, Umskapi, Bigani, and we also acknowledge the Sutina and Stony Nakoda First Nations, the Métis Nation Region 3, and all the people who make their home in Treaty 7 region of Southern Alberta. We are all treaty people. We are also pleased to host our honoured guests here today, the Honourable Whitney Isaac, Alberta's Associate Minister of Status of Women, Jackie Lovely, the Parliamentary Secretary for Status of Women, and MLA Nicholas Milliken. YW is grateful for our partnership with the provincial government, where we work collaboratively to ensure women and their families thrive. The provincial government was a significant funder of this beautiful facility where we gather today, and our hub facility is central to YW Calgary's work. Out of this facility, we offer services that prevent and support domestic violence, mental health, and women's economic prosperity. Programs such as individual, group, and family counselling, domestic violence outreach in the community, transitional housing and emergency beds for women, a family resource network, language instruction for newcomers, there's many, <laughs> as well as several revenue generating projects. We also provide childcare out of this facility, which has reached historically high enrollment in large part thanks to the federal provincial agreement that has come together to ensure there is greater access to affordable childcare in Alberta. Combined with our other facility in Calgary, we provide crisis shelter and affordable housing for women and children fleeing domestic violence. And in the past year, YW Calgary has provided supports for over 5,300 citizens. Still, we know more work lies ahead of us and to truly support women and their families to thrive in a safe and equitable community. Mental health will continue to be a growing area of focus for us, and in addition to providing counselling to our clients, YW Calgary has leveraged its deep knowledge in mental health and counselling to develop an online revenue-generating product to enhance psychological safety and well-being among employees across all sectors in Calgary, our province, and beyond. We are also moving forward with redevelopment of our Sheriff King Home Crisis Shelter, increasing capacity and adding a new, very needed affordable housing facility on the site. I am delighted today to be joined by MLA Jackie Lovely, representing Camrose. She was appointed to her role as Parliamentary Secretary for Status of Women in November 2021. Thank you, MLA Lovely, for being here today, and I invite you to the podium to deliver remarks. Well, thank you so much, Talia. It's a pleasure to be here at the YW Calgary to launch a new tool that will help women achieve their goals and access support. Over the past few years, Alberta's government has focused on helping women make it through the pandemic and beyond. After all they've done to support their families, communities, and workplaces, it's important they know there is help available for them too. I'm proud of the progress we've made, from helping reduce the childcare fees to introducing new bursaries for women in STEM programs. Now we're taking the next steps to increase the accessibility of all these services. Whether you're a newcomer, a new mother, a student, an SLGBTQQIA+, Albertan, or a senior, everyone is, has unique circumstances and unique needs. Helping every Albertan get the help they need to reach their full potential means this province can reach its full potential. Now I'd like to introduce the Associate Minister of the Status of Women, Whitney Isaac, to tell you more about the Women's Hub. I have a big step here. <laughs> Good morning. It's uh, just a great pleasure to be here at the YWC yet again. Um, been here a number of times and I uh, can't tell you how much I appreciate all the services that the YWCA provides for Alberta women 
um, has done for, for what, a century at least? More than a hundred years, um, and continues to do so on an ongoing basis, and um, indeed innovative, um, uh, just just an absolute gem uh, for Calgary and for all of Alberta. So thank you so much for all the work you do, and delighted to be here with uh, Nicholas Milliken, our MLA for Calgary Curry, who has been a tireless, committed uh, hero for uh, Alberta women and the issues that uh, we face. And uh, of course, Parliamentary Secretary Jackie Lovely, who um, we enjoy working together and is doing really, really meaningful work, especially for uh, on the issues facing rural women and elder women here in Alberta. So again, and thank you for the land acknowledgement also. I'm so happy that we're here um, to talk about the Women's Hub. Last summer, I was able to tour through Alberta, every corner of Alberta, um, and I will tell you this, the first session I ever had with a group of women on the beginning of that tour and almost every single stop along that tour, the same issue kept coming up over and over again. And that was women are pressed for time. Uh, we have so many things that we do in a day, you know, racing to work, working, running a business, um, getting an education, teaching others, uh, taking care of others doing the daycare dash, sitting in traffic, uh, getting kids to practice, volunteering at the practice, coaching the practice, maybe even going to sports yourself and practicing. And then at the end of the day, are you going to spend two hours on a website trying to find the services that you need to perhaps look after your aging parent, trying to find that educational choice for your child, trying to perhaps find uh, a health care service that you're in need of? So I heard it loud and clear from women across this province that they really needed a, tour, a tool to be able to easily find information, resources to, uh, to support uh, women in their success. And so that's exactly what we've done. We've created the Women's Hub and it's an online directory that solves these problems by consolidating all of the Alberta government supports and services that benefit women. You know, women across this province have shown true resiliency um, and creativity during the past years. Um, we know this because we can see that we're leading Canada with 62.3% employment rate uh, for women. That shows just how resilient Alberta women are. Um, in the hub, uh, which you probably can see on the screen behind me, um, women are able to filter through resources by entering information about their life stage and also uh, other personal information. Um, and then they can, they'll be able to select the type of help that they're looking for, such as health services, career and finance resources, or children and family care information. That's just a few examples. Um, so just, you know, one example that comes sort of to my mind is, you know, you'd be able to, I'm an Indigenous student and I'm searching for a job placement or training supports and you'd be able to filter through and find that really easily and quickly. Or I'm a senior living in rural Alberta and I'm looking for health services. Um, one of the reasons I'm really proud of this uh, project is actually because it does show the power of using a gender-based lens to solve problems that women face every day in Alberta. It also reflects one of the recommendations raised by the Premier's Council on Charities and Civil Society in its uh, Supporting Women's Economic Recovery Report. That was an amazing um, amount of work that was put into that report to, to really assess and um, make recommendations on what women face in the pandemic and, and what women need coming out of it. Um, you know, women are the backbone of our communities and I'm really, really glad that our government can help make just something a little easier for, for women. And, you know, we're improving the accessibility and expanding virtual services to ensure as many women as possible can get help. And that's so important. It's important to me and I know it's important to others. Um, we're going to continue to improve the hub uh, as new resources become available and we're going to make sure that it's always up to date. Additionally, we're hoping to pull in other services, non-governmental services, as we can uh, to widen the array of services that women will be able to search for. As it evolves, um, I really hope that it becomes a go-to source of support for women across this province 
um, when they need help, uh, where they need help, and when they need it the most, of course. Um, women will be able to, or participants on the, on the uh, site will be able to also um, assess the site and help us to improve it, uh, tell us where the gaps are, tell us uh, what they might like to see more of. Uh, so it will be an ongoing um, evolution. And uh, so for anyone that's watching the live stream today, you can check out Women's Hub for yourself at alberta.ca forward slash women's hub. Or you can watch the demo video on the Alberta Culture YouTube channel. And I invite everybody to go on and click around and see what you find. Um, and I'm just so pleased to uh, be here today and thank you so much. One of the things we're going to do is get some steps for the stage. <laughs> Thank you, Associate Minister Isaac, for your efforts to make information more readily available to women in Alberta. Uh, we look forward at YW to integrating this important tool into the work that we do with women and families. So thank you very much. I would now like to invite Savannah Johansson, Press Secretary to the Associate Minister, to the podium. Great, thank you so much. We will now take some questions from reporters. Seeing no one in the room, we'll go straight to the phones. Just a reminder to reporters on the line, it'll be one question and one follow-up. Please state your name and outlet for the record. Operator, please put through the first caller. Thank you for questions. Please press star one on your touchtone phone. Seeing none on the line. Does anyone in the room have any sure. questions? Okay, thank you everyone, everyone for joining and I hope you have a great rest of your day.